when I first got here, I was D-line and, you know, following kind of in dad's footsteps, you know, D-line, black shirt, you know, that was kind of what I was going for. I just really wanted to just get on the field and talking with Coach Bo and, and he said, you know, it's not for you, but we can always move you back. No, actually I was a guard, so I'd never snapped a ball and had to block. So it was a big learning curve there, but I had the coaches, I had Caputo there, Garrison, Cotton, and even Hickman was around still at that time. So, I mean, they really helped get me into the whole center deal. I've dealt with having my dad come to practice at uh, in high school. And at first, I mean, it was kind of like, oh, come on, dad, you know, let me do, you know, kind of let me, leave me alone type deal. But uh, as I got older and our friendship became more of just a father, son, more of a, like a brother type friendship, I mean, I really enjoyed having him come to practice. It wasn't always easy. I mean, he's not like the, hey, you had a good, you know, he'd let me know when I'm, I screwed up and what I need to do and whatnot. But, I mean, he kind of keeps his distance, though. He doesn't want to step on the coaches and whatnot. Uh, n I don't think, I mean, there's any more added pressure. I mean, anyone being at Nebraska, you're going to put enough pressure on yourself to be the best anyways. But being following his footsteps, I don't think there was any more pressure added. And he just said, go out there, have fun, and enjoy it. I think the hardest thing about being a student athlete is just, I mean, the biggest thing is trying to time manage football, school, and the social life too. I mean, you need, I mean, you do need some social life, but there's got to be some balance. I mean, you got to know what your priorities are and you got to put those forth. And then I always like to think of it, if I can get this done, even though it's not due for maybe a week, a couple of days, if I can get it done now, maybe I'll get rewarded at the end and have some time off that I wouldn't if I would have waited and tried to get it in on the last minute type deal. The funniest offensive lineman I would have to say is Jake Cotton. You just never know what you're going to get and sometimes it's you're wondering, wow, that <laughs> really? So I mean, I'd have to say Jake Cotton. Yeah, I played uh, hockey for nine years and uh, growing up in Nebraska, you really don't hear about hockey very much. I mean, I think the sport has grown more in Nebraska now, but back then it really was kind of like, you play hockey, what, what's hockey type deal? But uh, I kind of figured out, you know, I'm a little bigger guy for playing hockey. Not very uh, many 280 guys out there that play hockey. So, I mean, sometimes when I get home, I'll uh, watch some film, watch the practice and, you know, just critique myself, you know and uh, whatnot, or if not watch them practice, I'll watch maybe a couple clips, a couple games of the opponent of that upcoming week and kind of watch that. Or I'll just sit there and watch some TV. Got some TV shows I like to watch, Duck Dynasty, you know, gotta watch that.